Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. So today I'm participating in a challenge and this challenge is hosted by some sweet, sweet friends of mine. Um, the first two are actually Jenny and Diane and they have a channel that they do together. This It's a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law. Their channel is called Deco Easy and they are hosting this challenge along with Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab and it's farmhouse, um, like trash to treasure kind of DIY um, and there has to be an animal. I could not figure out what I wanted to do. Finally at the Dollar Tree I found a horse and when I see a horse, when I think of horses, I think Kentucky Derby, Lexington, Kentucky, Kentucky. And when I think of Kentucky, if you ever drove through Kentucky, it's just gorgeous bluegrass. I'm not going to have bluegrass. My, my, my grass is going to be green. But it's just this gorgeous grass, white fences. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And so that is my inspiration to my little vignette that I made. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So for this challenge, I will be spray painting this little horse that I found at the Dollar Tree. That is my farm animal for this challenge. And then I found this tray actually in my house. And it has this felt stuff that has already scratches on it. And it's pretty yucky and bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it away. And then sand this down as much as I can. And then we're going to spray paint. So here is the work in progress. We got the horse who needs woo, another uh, coat or two. Okay, so I have a lot of little parts that are gonna come together at the end. These are going to be my basis for my little, um, for the tree and for the topiaries. These are the little desserts that were in these little cups uh, from Costco. And so I saved them and I'm going to be using them. I will be painting them gray. Then this is a sign that's going to go up. I still don't know what the wording I'm going to put up here, but it's going to be a sign and I will be making these kind of little legs for it right now. And then I will also be painting one of these lanterns from the Dollar Tree. This I will be painting white. So this is probably going to take two or three coats because it's kind of dark. After giving the planters a second coat of gray, I pulled out my little makeup sponge and where the square part is, I kind of cut it into a circle. It's okay if it's jagged, it doesn't have to be perfect, but more or less in a circle. That way your sponge is a little bit misshapen and I actually like that. I'm grabbing some of my white acrylic paint and I'm just dabbing it and blending it with the gray that didn't dry yet and then getting more white and if I feel like there's too much white I put a little gray and I just keep on going until I like the shade and the colors that I have and as you can see it turned out really nice and what I'm going for here is for my pots to look like they're made out of cement. 
Now I'm getting some of these dowels and I'm going to color three of them brown and they don't need to be colored all the way because um, most of it is going to go um, inside they're the little you know the little buckets or the actual greenery so I'm just going to paint in the middle right here and I'm gonna give it a few coats it's a good idea to designate some floral foam um, to use for something like this I have it when I do my uh, fondant work on cakes I have a special one that I do because you always constantly need Especially like when you do flowers, you constantly need something to um, to dry in between layers and things like that. All right, so I painted that and I'm going to set it to the side. And now I'm going to work on my little topiary balls. I am using the foam dies from the Dollar Tree and some green moss from the Dollar Tree this project a lot of things are from a lot of things are recycled but a lot of things are also from the Dollar Tree okay so I decided to go ahead and paint these I'm painting these shamrock green I know you guys can see all this mess to me this is beautiful because I out of this I now have this little baby and that is going to be our little topiary and I love that it's squared I know I know I might be strange but I absolutely think it's so much fun all right and I'll just continue with this one hot glue and and adding hot gluing and adding I have this greenery that I got at Goodwill and I will be kind of making this tree out of it I'm going to be cutting them into like two three um, I guess leaf sections and hot gluing them to this little foam ball and I just want this to look like this puffy tree and then it's going to go on one of the dowels Alright, this is what I have so far. Here is my tree, but if you look closer, you kind of could see to the middle. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get some moss going here and I'm going to hot glue some moss here on the bottom, of course, and where I can see through the, the little vines, I guess. So that we can cover that up and it's going to look like a tree. I'm super happy how this turned out. I'm going to show you as much as I can. But if you look at it, it completely looks like a tree so super happy alrighty I'm taking one of my dowels here I'm just grabbing my Americana zinc gray acrylic paint and I'm going to dry brush it onto the sign the little legs that I made and also onto my lantern To take care of this part I have some of these little leaves from the same bunch where I got the leaves to do my tree and I'm just going to hot glue them kind of going from largest to smallest. Okay so here is what I'm going to do. 
I have these letters and I'm going to write lucky on here and these I got at uh, Hobby Lobby a very very long time ago now I'm getting my little stamp thing and I'm going to do this side first Oop, right there okay so when I am just making sure that they're gonna be sitting there okay and I'm just grabbing my black paint here I actually want it to look just a tiny bit distressed but if there's areas that you kind of want to fix this is the time to do it while, while it's wet okay so on one side it looks like this and on the other side it looks like this here's one side and here is the other side there's my beautiful horse and where the price tag was I did just put a toothpick in and broke it so it covered the little hole and then gave this little cutie a few coats of paint now there is right here it's very noticeable maybe not on camera but it's very noticeable noticeable see right there where that line is so what I decided to do is I grabbed this leaf it does have a wire backing to it and I'm going to cut it down to make it kind of like um I guess a long kind of straight and I don't know if you want to say a wreath but but I'm going to make a little wreath to put over the horse right there okay so what this is going to be is it's going to go around the horse right here right on top of the wire we are going to hot glue moss i think i'm going to sway it to the back so i can take care of it because he's going to be facing this way look what a difference you guys so here we have the tray that i spray painted and cleaned and i grabbed a piece of felt from the dollar tree i wish the dollar tree felt was a little darker but it is quite light so anyway it really there's a tiny tiny like one eighth of an inch it's not enough on the side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first cover with stones right along the edge Now, as you can see I'm making a little bit of a like a road and I want it to kind of have the illusion that it's kind of going far so we have that now I'm putting in um, here's the lucky sign and the back where we close it I'm going to put that right here my little gorgeous horse is going to go in the front um, the little I think it should there you go I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little light in there so we're gonna put our little lantern right here in the back we have the tree I'm going to see how I like it and then the two topiaries in the back Well, that's it for this video. What did you guys think of my pretty little vignette that reminds me of Kentucky and also my mom because my mom loves horses. And I just, I thought it turned out really pretty. So it's definitely going to be on my coffee table for a while and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and so excited that it turned out so beautiful and just so picturesque. 
with that being said, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing and you know it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.